protecting the rim lately. Just like your block numbers have been up, you're getting a lot of contests. What do you feel like you've been doing differently in the last few weeks? Um, to be honest, uh, my legs are a little bit better, um, but uh, mostly it's just uh, starting to like turn up a little bit more, you know? Um, understanding that we have like playoffs soon. Uh, I want to be, be, you know, at the best, like, best moment um, for the playoffs. And yeah, just getting into that mindset, and and uh, and yeah, finishing the regular season strong. That's that's what I'm trying to do. Then when you first got here, you were doing mostly deep drop coverage on pick and rolls, and you've started to kind of pick up every type of coverage. You've been switching yeah. even more lately. Yeah. At what point of the year did you start to feel like you kind of had the whole system down and felt comfortable doing everything? Yeah. Uh, of course, the main thing we try to do is have me around the rim as much as possible. But, um, you know, there's going to be different coverages for us as a team that we can go to. We can, you know, switch. And, and, and Joe has been putting me in those kind of situations to get more and more comfortable. Uh, switching, being up more, different coverages on the go, just so we can practice all kinds of stuff. And we're ready for all kinds of scenarios during the game. Um, and, and, and that's what it is mostly. Chris Epps, uh, on that defensive point, uh, you and Al out there, when you're out there together, what, what have you learned about playing with him and what you guys are able to do together on the defensive end when you're out there with him? Yeah, no, Joe, I mean, Joe, uh, Al is uh, one of the you know most experienced players that I've ever played with. And even like in timeouts when he speaks up, like everybody listens, you know, we, we, he has so much experience and, and, um, and, and so much knowledge about the game uh, on both ends, uh, he's he's very very valuable for us, and and uh, and yeah, both of us playing together, uh, knowing that um, you no, know, there's somebody behind me or I'm behind him. You know, it's also a a, a good thing, good like thing to know while you're out there, and uh, and I think we will we work well together. You mentioned ramping up to the playoffs. How, how close to 100% physically do you feel if, after coming off the you know last injury? There? Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting there. I still think I can, you know, be even better. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I, I I look forward to like have um, have my engine going on all cylinders. You know, when when the playoffs come. Chris Tops, uh, this team has won 60 games. Uh, your best record in the NBA clinched. Can you reflect a little bit on what that means to this group? Oh, it's it's an achievement. No, we we worked hard all season long, and I think we deserved this. Um, it wasn't a, you know specific goal for us, but as the year went on, we just kept on doing our job, kept on working hard and winning games, and 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 we end up at this point, and um, and and I think we deserve it. Yeah, uh, um, and it's you know it's it's it, it's possibly gonna matter. Uh, um, if if we follow through with the vision that we have for ourselves, sort of sort of along those lines, um, a lot of times when we ask Joe about those things, you know, seating all that, he says, you know, it takes care of itself. But tonight he said, you guys were aware and you wanted to treat tonight's game like a clincher, like a playoff clincher. What what would that look like to you, and what was kind of the meaning of that? Uh, no, yeah, I mean, you know, we have to find like a. For each of these games, no, as as we're heading towards like the end of the season to some sort of motivation, you know. And tonight was was a night where it's like, okay, if we win this game, we're we can achieve something, you know. And and uh, and and yeah, and Joe just, uh, um, um, you know, kind of poked us a little bit and and you know got us going for the game, knowing that that we can clinch it. And um, and yeah, we went out there and and, and took care of business. Chris Tops, Joe said that he viewed this as like a teaching point for how to attack switches. Uh, what's how do you go about attacking those matchups when they switch smaller forwards onto you? Yeah, definitely. I think I didn't start the game off uh, perfect. Uh, I think I was l allowing them to go underneath a little bit those uh, switches, and then I had to fight a bit more to get a better uh, position for the post up. Um, and then talking to DJ at one of the timeouts, he said to, to, to set it and, and, and set it at a better angle so I could just make my life easier, you know. And as I started doing that, um, 
it just you know created more advantage for us. Either I was getting it in a lower position or even holding the guy on my back, or as I was like kind of rolling and, and holding the guy on the back, somebody else pulled in and we had a somebody open on the other side. So those are small details that matter, and and uh, and I think uh, Joe and and the coaching staff and DJ. Um, have been doing a great job and, and they deserve some credit as I've said before. Um, <clears throat> Al was explaining that you had that 25-7 run in the fourth quarter. He was explaining like you guys wanted it. You, they, they call a timeout and you sat down and you're like, no, let's go. Let's let's win these next few minutes. Can you take us inside that like kind of yeah. mentality, turning it up and it's kind of something you've talked about recently, but like, do you just feel like when you guys all say, okay, we want this, that mm. there's kind of like nothing that another team can do? Yeah, no. And and we want to feel that way. You no, know? we want to feel like in these moments when we turn up, we want to feel like invincible, like nobody can mess with us, you know? Um, and yeah, we have, we have that level that we can go to. And uh, we did it today again. And, uh, and I think that's something that um, Joe has done a good job of like developing for us, you know, and kind of putting that in our in our minds and in our like toolboxes and uh and then opening it uh when we need i don't know that's 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 you know that is uh that is credit to him you know and that's yeah, and all the coaching staff again you know they, they've really done a great job and and uh and you can see the the result on the floor oh thank you